Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, you may be thinking uh, where I am and why am I sitting in this chair. Um, this is a very special place. A very, very special place. And let me remind you all where I am. I am right now sitting in the very chair where Sheikh Ahmad Didat rahmatullahi used to sit and have conversations with Christian missionaries who would come to visit him. This very camera behind me used to film them and you can watch those videos to this day on YouTube where he's having talks and interactions and debates with Christian missionaries who would come with their Bibles to ask him questions and all that. And even this is the same chair where he would sit and teach Dr. Zakir Naik. Dr. Zakir Naik would be sitting there across there and he would be, uh, you know, teaching him, Sheikh Ahmad Didat, Rahmatullah. So I am right now in South Africa, Durban, uh, in the very office of Sheikh Ahmad Didat, uh, the IPCI head office. This is basically the doing of Sheikh Ahmad Didat, and he pioneered Dawah in the 20th century. He single handedly started the Dawah movement, movement of the 20th century, which produced many, many, many powerful, eloquent, educated Dawat. Okay, uh, Sheikh Ahmad Didat himself was a fifth grader. He never went beyond uh, the fifth grade uh, in school. But Allah used him to defeat in debates very, very eloquent, educated Christian missionaries, activists, scholars, theologians. Okay, and he drove this passion through the Ummah. Okay, he made the Ummah realize that Islam is powerful. Okay. It is very, very powerful. Intellectually, no one can defeat Islam. Even he's trying to tell the world that even someone who has never been to uh, school or college or university can study the Quran and the Bible and talk to these big Christian theologians and defeat them in debate. So Sheikh Ahmad Didat instilled that passion, that love for Dawah in the Ummah. And today, what we see around the world, the Dawah movement, the global Dawah movement, wherever wherever it is, it is taking place, he has a share in it. And may Allah reward him. May Allah bless him. May Allah make his grave one of the gardens of Jannah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala place him in Jannah al Firdaus. I mean, and this is a very, very historic place where I am right now. I don't deserve to sit in this place, this seat, but for my own personal satisfaction, I've done it. For my own personal uplifting, uh, sp spiritual <laughs> uplifting, so uh, this is a very historic, this is the very camera, the historic camera. And this is the book Sheikh Ahmad Didat read as a young boy that changed his attitude towards Dawah. He was being used as a punching bag by some missionaries who would come and ask him difficult questions he wouldn't be able to answer. And one day he found a copy of Izharul Haq in the storage of that very shop. And he read the book and he started to use it. And then was born the legend of Sheikh Ahmad Didat. So a scholar in India in the 19th century wrote this book, not knowing what his book will do in the future. It produced Sheikh Ahmad Didat and his Dawah. And then uh, as a consequence came about the Dawah movement of the 20th and the 21st century. Allahu Akbar. This is how Dawah works. Just plant the seed and leave uh, Allah to do the job. Okay. So this is a very historic place, very emotional at the moment. Uh, these are personal notes of Sheikh Ahmad Didat. You know, when he would receive donations, he would make a note of them. These are his handwritten notes. Um, um, and uh, these are his personal belongings. This is his very desk. This is where he used to sit and have conversation, conversations, possibly write books, the books he has written. And, uh, you know, this was his working space, basically, this very office. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give him general to those. And you look at some of the... Uh, um, the, the 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 remnants or some of his legacy in the form of these pictures and these booklets uh, crucifixion or crucifixion this is one of the booklets very famous booklets he had written he's meeting with people then there is this poster he had a debate with Josh McDowell okay very famous debate Jimmy Swagger there okay this debate was a very famous debate is uh, the Injil the word of Allah Okay, is the Bible God's word? I remember this debate. This was very important in my personal de development. I was, I mean, whatever I am, my little self was actually instinct, I mean, uh, triggered into Dawah by Sheikh Ahmad Didat's 
videos. I watched his videos in the mid 2000s and I used to take notes watching his videos and learn uh, how to talk to Christians and how to give them da'wah. This was Sheikh Ahmad Idad's work, Allahu Akbar. So may Allah bless him, may Allah give him Jannah. I just wanted to share this with you. This was a very emotional experience for me and I wanted to share it with you. I've been here before a few times, but every time I come here, this place is like, uh, how can I put it? It's, history was made in this room, brothers and sisters. You cannot imagine, you cannot imagine and understand if you only if you knew the history of this place. This office, this very room, this space, history was made here and history is still being made due to this very room and what happened here and you can see some of the recording devices old ones used by Sheikh Ahmed Idad and his team and some of the videotapes you can see there Allahu Akbar you know they are now <laughs> uh, things of the old as they say you know there, there would be in museums nowadays you know young youngsters who are watching this video they may, may not relate with this stuff but we when we were growing up, we were watching these videos. You know, we had these big VCRs with VHS tapes. Used to put them in. Used to take about 30 seconds for the video to play as well, right? So these things, SubhanAllah. May Allah bless these brothers uh, at IPCI for taking care of Sheikh Ahmadi Dad's legacy. And still continuing the work, most importantly. Still a very much active organization. And may Allah bless them. May Allah accept from them. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi